Welcome to this week's energy forecast. I'm Sarah Louise, an intuitive and a reader of the cosmic weather, and I'm here to share with you my intuitive take on what's coming up this week. What are those planets doing? Well, they're creating a beautiful environment for us to step up, change, transform, and step into a greater version of ourselves. And like we all know, we don't grow in a comfort zone. So the cosmic weather this week, my friends, is challenging, is going to request that you step up, that you do quite a lot of work on yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's my forecast last week. I was like, dudes, take a breath. It's okay. Like, you've got this. And I got a few messages going like, no, nah, that wasn't right. I couldn't take a breath. It was still really intense. It was in later on in that, um, in our written, I said like, take a breath, but don't relax. You know, take a breath, like it's okay, it's not gonna be like tornado time, but it's really windy. So don't get caught off guard. And this week, yeah, I feel like we might even like go back into tornado, tornado season for the week. Yeah. It's like there's polarity definitely, there's lots going on. And why am I saying this? Because we've got a really gnarly full moon in Gemini and it's going to really challenge us up in our minds, in our thoughts, and it's going to really push us. And we've got to be really conscious and really aware because, like, we're no good when we're running around like schizos, you know. We, we know that space. Yeah, and we have to be so conscious. Yes, we're out of Scorpio season, praise the Lord. And that was that shift last week that you felt, right? You know, and it, it was towards the end of the week. So that's probably why halfway through the week you're, you're thinking... I can't breathe and then by the weekend you should have gone actually I can take a breath it's okay I've got this and it's like you know you could breathe through the weekends and then Monday it's back on full moon in Gemini with some funky old aspects yeah and you know it's November and I told you November was gonna be super transformational and quite pushy and it's not bad it's not good it just is the current environment and we know that everything's in a divine plan it's all happening for a reason and it's all actually helping us to heal and um, because we're in the classroom of life and this is like the healing space yeah so when we feel challenged and we resist, um, I really want you to think this week about your ego. Because I feel at the moment with the current cosmic weather, we are being really challenged to confront our ego, right? And how I explain the ego is that we've got our beautiful energy, our beautiful soul that's super in flow and, and you know, divine and light and open and love and joy and it's all that. And then we've got our, pers our personality, our ego. If we go too much into our ego, the, the ego is very competitive. It wants to win, it wants to be right, it wants to be the best, wants people to see, you know, it's, it's this real energy. And I feel there's a battle going on at the moment. And the battle is to drop more of our ego. That's what I believe is very much going on in the cosmic weather, right? You know, that's my intuitive take of all of the alignments that are happening. Um, or one aspect of this, but a gr one that I feel like we really need to focus on at the moment. And when we step more into that ego, then, you know, life becomes a bit challenging and we're pushing and we're pulling and we've got to be right and we're quite argumentative, we're confrontational and we're like, you know, we've got that energy, those defences up and, and we're quite constricted and, you know, it's... It's a place that many of us have found quite safe. It's a place that many of us have kind of turned to in despair, you know, of feeling vulnerable and being hurt and being rejected or being abandoned or being, you know, abused, whatever it is. Not being seen, not being heard, not being felt, not being understood, not feeling safe, boom. Straight behind that personality, straight into that ego. Defenses go up, bam. I'm good, I'm fine. You know what I'm talking about. 
and for where we're going in this beautiful universe in this beautiful journey and adventure of life i feel like we've got to let that go and with that things might go yeah because things might not align anymore with you know that beautiful heart space and that's okay we trust that process we let that go we open up our heart we become more in flow we tune into truly who we are i am not like i am like i am it's different and we let that go and we open up our hearts and we expand and we become greater and lighter and in that place trust me you're going to flow through life a lot better yeah but it takes strength and it it takes a push you know and it takes dropping all those old defenses and trusting oh my goodness trusting is that not like the word of the year so it's a big time yeah and I, that's that at the moment if you want to do some self work take a look at that take a look at your ego take a look at you know do some shadow work and that's where you're going to grow and that's where you're going to heal and that's where you're going to feel more in alignment with who you are and where you're going and true authentic self you know which all of these really pushy alignments are pushing us to we can't do it that old way you know it's we just can't remember we're going from competition to collaboration yeah from a closed heart to an open heart from the mind to the heart it's the journey yeah and we we're in a really <laughs> pressurized point of it right now yeah and it's good yeah we have to step out we have to step up we have to become more true to self not all those old layers yeah and when we do that and we break free things will change in our external world because we're changing from the inside yeah and remember that the inside is a reflection to the outside is a reflection to the inside so we change this this changes too and if we're becoming more from love and openness and flow and like that's what's going to happen out here yeah we're in conflict in here what's happening out there and you know if you're watching this i believe that you're aware and you're attuned and you're looking for that enlightenment and trust me this is the way and if we can lead in this way in this light others will see and go wow it's safe for me to do that we can't be doing that or you you do it first and not doing it until you do it we lead the right ones will come with us you feel me so my friends it's a big week you're going to do some work on yourself you're going to just welcome that beautiful full moon and just embrace it and let go of more of what you don't need you're going to just bring in more into that beautiful space of what you do need and you're going to have an amazing week. I'm working live under this full moon for whoever wants to join me. Live session, I'm going to talk to you more about the energy and we're going to do our beautiful meditation, energetic work and really, you know, release, let go and heal. <laughs> you know, expand and heal. And I love to say that, you know, you will just heal, but I believe that we are going to consistently heal. That's why we're here. So it's not going to, it's not, there's not like a beginning and an end to this journey. It's, it's a journey of life. So yeah, those that are drawn to will be on that session with me. It's easy. Anyone can join. I'll love to have you there. Um, just click on the link underneath this. It's super easy. If you can't join live, a download will be sent out to you once the session is finished. You can watch it, repeat it as many times as you like so i'm excited to see many of you there and those that i don't i will see you next week for next week's forecast so have a great week and um yeah open up that heart a little more <laughs>